Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to find the value of this double integration. See, the region is bounded. This S is bounded by these four curves. But they have mentioned we have to solve this problem by suitable change of variables. That means given variables are X and Y. So we have to use new variables, okay, to solve this problem. So let us write the given integral first. I have already written. Let me mention here, S is bounded by S is bounded by x square minus y square is equal to 1. x square minus y square is equal to 2. See, two more equations we have. y is equal to x minus 3 and y is equal to x minus 1. So, same equations I am writing in a different way. Okay, to make, by maintaining the same pattern. I am shifting 3 on this side, y on that side. So, we will have x minus y is equal to 3. In second equation also, I will do the same. I am going to shift 1 on this side, y on that side. So, x minus y is equal to 1, right? x minus y is equal to 1, okay, correct? See, uh, I have done this thing because to bring this pattern, x minus y, x minus y, get it? In a problem, they have mentioned uh, by suitable change of variables, that means we have to put something. As well as you can see here, x square minus y square is equal to 1. This is hyperbola. This one is also hyperbola. These two are straight lines in xy plane. That means region is so much complicated. It's very difficult to solve this double integration in xy plane. So obviously there is need to put something to make the problem more simple. So here also I will try to do the same. So let us start to put something. So now the question is what we have to put, right? So in this case, I will try to find a pattern. If any term is repeating itself, let us see. If you observe first two equations, you can easily see x square minus y square, x square minus y square. Uh, in both equations, the left hand side is same. So I'm going to put x square minus y square is equal to u. So x square minus y square is equal to u. In say last two equations, we have x minus y in left hand side. So I will put it is equal to v. Okay, so these are our substitution. See, in double integration, when we put anything, uh, obviously we have to find a Jacobian. So now the question is what is Jacobian? So Jacobian is a determinant, dabba x by dabba u, dabba x by dabba v, dabba y by dabba u, dabba y by dabba v. By solving the uh, this determinant, we will get the value of Jacobian. Getting? Here, we have to find derivative of x with respect to u, derivative of x with respect to v, similarly derivative of y with respect to u and v. But for that, we should express x and y in terms of u and v. But here exactly we have opposite thing. We have expressed u and v, we have expression of u and v in terms of x and y. So it's difficult to find derivative. Getting? But see, we have a solution on that. Instead of finding z, I will find z dash. So now what is the formula of z dash? It's quite simple. Dabba u by dabba x, dabba u by dabba y, dabba v by dabba x, dabba v by dabba y. You can easily find the difference between these two determinants. Getting? That means derivative of u with respect to x. It's quite easy, you no? Know, u we have. So we can easily find this derivative with respect to x, similarly with respect to y, and then with respect to uh, derivative of e with respect to x and y. After knowing z dash, we will find z using this formula. z is simply reciprocal of z dash. So we can easily find. Okay, so let us start to do, we will find z dash first, and with the help of that, we will find z. Let me remove this one. So we'll have some more space to write. Just a minute. Okay, that's it. So let us write here. Uh, we will find all derivatives first. Huh? Derivative of u with respect to x. So what is our u? u is x square minus y square. Uh, see, uh, minus sign is there. We can take separate, separate derivatives. Derivative of x square is 2x minus y square is constant since we are differentiating with respect to x derivative 0 final answer is 2x derivative of u with respect to y same function we have right 
डेरेवेटिव विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस वाई स्क्वेर सेपरेट सेपरेट डेरेवेटिव एक्स स्क्वेर इज कॉन्स्टंट सिंस वी आर डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई डेरेवेटिव जीरो माइनस डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वाई स्क्वेयर टू वाई सो इट इज माइनस टू वाई डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स लेट एस सी वॉट इज अवर वी वी इज एक्स माइनस वाई इट्स क्वाइट सिंपल वी कैन टेक सेपरेट सेपरेट डेरेवेटिव डेरेवेटिव ऑफ एक्स इज वन वाई इज कॉन्स्टंट सिंस वी आर डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स जीरो सो इट्स वन v with respect to y okay let us find x minus y derivative of x zero since we are differentiating with respect to y it's constant derivative of y uh one so minus one let us find z dash formula is deba u by deba x deba u by deba y deba v by deba x deba v by deba y so let us put the values what is its value two x its value 2y its value 1 its value minus 1 so we know how to find the value of determinant product of this two minus product of this two product of this two will be minus 2x product of this two will be see minus is obviously there and 2y is there we can take minus to common so x minus y but see x minus y is v so we can write this is equal to minus 2v okay uh, see make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us find uh, z okay z is reciprocal of z dash so 1 upon z dash so it is minus 1 by 2v that's it we got z also right after that uh, we have to find region in uv plane let me write in uv plane uv plane region is bounded by see uh we have a region in xy plane okay so in xy plane the region is bounded by these four curves similarly i will write in uv plane so this is our u no so we can write u is equal to 1 this is our u again so u is equal to 2 getting y is equal to but see we have already expressed this same equation we can write x minus y is equal to 3 and this equation can be written as x minus y is equal to 1 so we can write v is equal to this is our v no so v is equal to 1 this 1 and v is equal to 3 so in uv plane region is bounded by u is equal to 1 u is equal to 2 v is equal to 1 v is equal to 3 so these are simple lines in uv plane line parallel to v axis line parallel to u axis like that but directly also we can write the limits here so i will write the limits of v first obviously you can see here v varies from 1 to 3 and u varies from 1 to 2 right okay so let me remove let me remove these two equations also so now we can easily solve this double integration okay so we, in uv plane we have got limits we have our z also but still there is one problem that x plus y entire integral we should express in terms of u and v so that x plus y this function also should be written in terms of u and v so let us see how to do uh yes consider x plus y so what will i do i will multiply numerator denominator by x minus y so x plus y x minus y upon x minus y So x plus y x minus y means x square minus y square. We are familiar with that formula a plus b a minus b a square minus b square, and this is x minus y. But see, this is our u. No, we have defined it is our u. So it is u, and this is our v. So we can write this is v. X square minus y square is u. We have already stated x minus v y is our v. Okay, so that's why I could write this. So x plus y can be replaced by u plus v. So let us write. in terms of u and v now okay just a minute okay i is equal to double integration okay so x plus y which is u by v dx dy that means mod z du dv or dv du doesn't matter so i'm writing here dv first du later okay So d d v I have written first, so I should write the limits of v first one to three, and limits of u one to two. 
So this is equal to integration 1 to 2, integration 1 to 3, u by v. What is our z? This is our z. We have applied mod to it. So it will return the positive value. So 1 upon 2v dv du, right? So 1 by 2 is constant will come outside. 1 to 2. Inner integration with respect to v. So u is also constant will come outside. Integration 1 to 3, v into v, 1 by v square, dv and du. So 1 by 2 integration 1 to 2, u, 1 to 3. I am going to express it in this way, v raised to minus 2, dv, du. We are familiar with one formula that integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. See this formula I am going to use to find the value of that integral. Okay, just make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. So let us continue it here. Hmm. I is equal to 1 by 2 integration 1 to 2 u. Using this formula, its integration will be we are adding 1 in power. So v raised to minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 in same number in denominator 1 to 3 du minus 1 will come outside minus 1 by 2 1 to 2 u okay so v raised to minus 1 that means 1 by v 1 to 3 du so let us put upper limit lower limit 1 to 2 u i am putting upper limit first 1 by 3 if i put lower limit 1 by 1 which is 1 du see it's a constant it will give the value constant value so we can take it outside 1 by 2 I can cross multiply. So its value will be minus 2 by 3, 1 to 2, u du. 2 2 will get cancelled, minus minus plus 1 by 3. Integration of u is u square by 2, 1 to 2. 3 into 2, 6 in denominator. I am putting 2 here, 2 square 4, 1 square 1. So it is 3 by 6, which is 1 by 2. This is required answer. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.